What is going on y'all? Travis here back with another episode of One Tree Hill Season 2, Episode 6. Let's get into it, shall we? Catherine Ann Porter once said, there seems to be a kind of order in the universe. Pretty. In the movement of the stars, and Him the too. turning of the earth, and the changing of the seasons. But human life is almost pure chaos. Everyone Arteria takes with the stance, the flops and the oversized jeans. Searching rights and feelings, mistaking like the too motives long. of others and his own. Memories. This hair is so much better. Be so much better than season one. This skirt's a little short, isn't it? Uh can we just go? Sure. As soon as you Who discover you? pants. To tell her. You know why? Because first impressions are important, Anna. And yours says abierto all night. You know what? I'll ride the bus. Anna, okay. I'm just playing. You're being me. Let me guess. One of your friends with benefits hose didn't want to pay her deductible. Uh, That's my sister. <laughs> Wait. You mean after they had you, your parents rolled the dice and kept breeding? That's risky. <laughs> you know, uh, I was thinking about this whole friends with benefits. Felix with Brooke. FWB. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, IFD in your dreams. Oh, I saw you in '87 against Williamsburg. Man, you were unstoppable. Did you play college ball? Uh, how long until we have the results? Uh, the doctor Weird that I. A day or two. Uh, first, I felt looked good. Felt like Dan was looked like kind of like a snack. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put this on warm down for you, okay? Ugh, gross. Good. It's good. All right. All right. Hey, you take your time, man. How am I supposed to pass a stress test with some orderly reminding me my best days are behind me? He says you're doing fine. You must be happy in 48 hours. You won't have to wait on me anymore. Well, I'm not going to put my life on hold waiting for a phone call. We're in the paper. There's going to be a meteor shower this weekend. Thought maybe I'd go out and watch it from the beach house. Good for you, Dan. Maybe we could watch it together. You've been with me every step of this recovery, Deb. We could go out there and I can make you dinner just to say thanks. You remember that she That's delayed all. calling? <laughs> Oh, close. Yeah, I know. Um, I was just wondering if I could post this flyer on your board. All ages night. I'll tell you what, you can post it if you take your shirt off. Ah. Uh, Excuse me? He most crap. Gives punk a bad name. You think? I do. You insult all your customers this way? Well, since we're not really open, you're not really a customer. Don't forget your get up kids lunchbox. Oh my god. You know, it's real punk to be up at 7 a.m. doing inventory. I never went to sleep. Hello. Jules, it's Keith. Keith, you know the guy who took you on that drive? Gotcha. Well, the reason I'm calling is the um, follow-up customer satisfaction survey. How happy were you? For with the sure. Service at Dan Scott Motors? <laughs> the guy who helped me was nice and kind of cute. He waited a whole week to call me, and when he did, he came up with some lame excuse about a survey. I'd give him a seven. Well, you think we could uh, bump that up to an eight or a nine? Maybe over dinner tomorrow night? Maybe, if he comes to my place and cooks for me. Ooh. Okay. Why do people invite people to their house right away like that? Uh-uh, we gotta go somewhere public first. We gotta go to the Golden Corral, hey, or the Applebee's, Scott. or the Olive Garden. We ain't well, meeting like at my house for the first time. time. Well, After uh, all we did was take a drive. I just wanted to talk to you about your surgery. I just don't know why you're not going through with the surgery. Lucas, do you know how my wife died? In surgery. Look, coach. No, you look. We are not in season. There's no practice. Now, I want you to turn around and get out of my office and mind your own damn business. What a grumpy Gus. Club night is going to rule. Not according to the jerk at the record store. Finding emo. <laughs> oh, um, I'm just kind of looking for bands or something. When do you go on? Not. Stop it. Hills. It's one thing to play at home for you. It's another to get up in front of a crowd and do it. There's no way. Nathan. Letter came for you through my office. What is it? How the hell should I know? Do I look like the damn postmaster general? <laughs> a meteor shower occurs what a when the grump. earth passes through the cloud of dust left behind by a comet. Lucas, you wanted in the office. Take your books. Oh, what to do? Hey. Anna, what are you doing here? I'm sorry I didn't call you after dare night. Give me a chance to explain. I got you out of science, didn't I? Hey, where did you get this hall pass anyway? I swiped it when I met the principal. Look, I'm sorry I blew you off. My brother's kind of overprotective Lucas, because we haven't what? gone to the same Are school those in jeans a size 40? Felix is your brother? Yeah. I figured you'd connect the dots sooner or later. Anyway, I told Felix that I hadn't met any guys and I just didn't want to have to deal with him, so I didn't call you. I figured when Felix saw those pictures of us in the photo booth, he'd let you know who I was. I still can't figure if he's screwing with me or what. I never gave him the pictures. Why? Because it wasn't just about dare night for me. Me neither. It's a decaf latte with one shot of Irish cream. I had been pouring me free coffee in the cafe all week. I figured I'd return the favor. Well, unlike you, I need an A. Instead of that coffee, my apple. I was wondering if you're available tomorrow night to um, to watch the media show. Just the two of us? Well, I could schedule a 
class field trip if it makes you feel safe. No, 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 that's not it. Karen, just give in to it, it's girl. That cool Get shit. some. Except for me. Get some. And you don't want to do anything to screw it up. Like, um, I don't know, dating a professor. Karen, uh, I wouldn't ask you to hang out with me if I thought it was going to compromise your studies. And, and, unless you, you know, you simply don't want to ha hang out with me, because that's okay, oh, too. No, 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 I do. That's not it. So what do you say? Tomorrow night? Do it. Okay. Do it. Oh, and, uh, hey, look, I know it's kind of short notice, so, uh, bring Lucas along if you can't find a seat. Love to meet the little guy. <laughs> oh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. Star, to the human eye, they appear very the close little together. little guy? But as you know, in reality, he's like six like foot this two. All basketball boot camp. And this guy, Milt West, he might not be that he's tall. He's got the best players in the country on their Maybe skills. Maybe six foot. I invited you. Wow. Nathan, I'm really happy for you. You've worked really hard. He thinks Lucas is like four. <laughs> Could it get any worse? My love life is not existing. Felix with the my fucking staring problem. Everything that we own and beg them to keep my car. You might not be rich, but you are still Brooke Davis, the most popular. Yeah. Maybe so. But being poor and horny is no way to go through life. How am I supposed to have fun? <laughs> Boys won't care about the poor part just as long as you tell them about the horny part. My parents go bright. I actually have to study. God, the horror. I know how the mighty have fallen. <laughs> I think I need a little recess. Now, who can staring for that long? Okay, here's the thing. We are not dating. We are not going out. We are nothing. I am not your wife. There is no romance, no crappy poetry, no PDA, and no spooning. If we have sex, it's going to be safe sex. We're friends with benefits. We don't even need to talk. Come here. Ooh. That's how it always starts out, and then y'all are going to, like, love each other. I've this seen the movie. Girl named Anna. Friends with benefits. The be the They're Anna basically the same thing. Yeah. Also happens to be Felix's sister. Nice. Did you know about that? Just found out this morning. She can't help it if her brother's an ass. <laughs> so high flyers. I mean, what I wouldn't give three months in Florida playing basketball. Is it three months? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Why? That fucking giggle. That's all summer. We can't live for three months off Haley's cafe paycheck. I mean, if we could, I mean, I don't want to be apart from her that long. You guys will figure it out. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You know that. What are you doing here? I just wanted to say hello. You said it. Golly! Nathan got into high flyers. He couldn't have done it without you, so I, I just thought you'd care to know. Son, the mistake you're making is you think I care about you, about the team, about anything. I lost the only thing I cared about a long time ago. Someone hugged this man. I have this picture in my room of the team. Golly. A mere 500th win. Now, the man in that photo looks like a guy to me that still cares about something. We need you, coach. Like, not just to win games. We need you in our lives. And have the surgery. He's scared. I get it. It's scary. Oh, I figured the summer out. Call Karen, see if I can stay with her and Lucas for a little while until you get back, or we'll save a ton. You should go for that? Before you came along, I practically lived there anyway. <laughs> then I'll pick up some extra shifts at the cafe. You work enough already. You're going to go to this camp if I have to sell a kidney. It's only three months. I just wish I could go to Florida with you. Isn't this Brooke's house? Hey, be careful with that. It's Venetian, and I'm not talking Vegas. You finding anything? Uh, just this picture frame. Thanks, Mom. Hi. Hey, you didn't recognize the address. We won't buy anything. We sold my pride uh -uh. around 830. I'd rather see you wearing my clothes than any of these 50-year-old wannabes. So I'll give you the good friend discount. Thanks. I'm gonna go look around. Okay. How do you do it? Do what? You gave up your family's money to be poor, Nate. You know what they say, Brooke. Money can't buy love. Maybe so. My mom sure had a good run renting it for a while. And really, if, Na if Nathan today. really needed the you money, I'm sure message. they would give it to him still. Thought you might want to hang out. Eyes Hookups will be initiated so by me. Where and when I say, and I say, not here, not now. I'd like to buy this dollhouse. It's not for sale. But there's a price tag on it. One fifty. Well, it's a misprint. The one should be a four. Four fifty. Oh, that is a big ass dollhouse. You okay? Time to get it on. Five minutes. You gotta hang your wrist. Freeze after the release. Like Jordan did when he beat Utah in the finals. What about following the ball? Following the ball is following your miss. You play? A little bit. We beat the crap out of Our Lady of Peace every year. So, what do you say? Quick game of hog? How about this? For every shot I hit, you tell me something about yourself. Okay. And what do I get when I win? What'd you have in mind? I win. We watch the meteor shower together. And if I win? If you win, we watch the meteor shower together. Sounds like a win-win. Smells good in there. Oh, I uh, brought some wine. I'm more of a beer girl. Uh, so this place is uh, it's nice. It's early American garage sale. I have to say, you really know your way around a kitchen. 
You know, I uh, would have invited you over to my place, but everything's still in boxes. You know? Charleston, right? I guess I keep thinking if I don't unpack, then, you know, maybe the move still happens. Is that your oven timer? Actually, it's the smoke alarm. Oh, boy. <sighs> wow. <clears throat> you know what I'd love? I hop. Perfect. I hop. I mean, I my did suggest Golden is, Corral, so. I didn't tell Felix I was coming here tonight, but I'm going to, I swear. Granny, from the free throw line. Nice shot. Thank you. So what do you got? I confess that I'm sometimes selfish. Sometimes. I don't always give back as much as I get. Oh. I believe that's H-O-G. Did I win? Looks like you owe me one meteor shower. Me! Why don't we just call it Club Sup? Hey, thank you. That was... Uh, really? Something. Great. That was great. Um, we'll let you know. What is that shirt? That was the last of them. We can go with the balding wedding band or the bad ballad guy. Club No Name has no X. <sighs> huh, Nathan just sent me an MP3. Oh, that's a, uh, it's a virus. You don't want it. Stop. I'm an expert. Why did we even bother having auditions? Haley, this is awesome. Oh, it's the rude record store guy. Um, can you just put the CDs by the side of the stage? How many other songs have you written? I don't know. All right, we well, are gonna open. No, I'm not. You learned an entire cheer routine in three hours. You rocked the house. Okay, with a group. I cannot do it by myself. Do You're gonna it. have to find someone else. I'm sorry. Everywhere you go, follows you the road. You get all that you need and more. Your music isn't very it's punk. Sings like he's British. Is he British? I think he just found your man. He's pretty good. Uh, hi, I'm Haley. This is Peyton, and you're great. When do I play? Well, oh, you kind of got you're attitude. Okay, but we had a lot of really good people show up today. We'll call you. Not emo enough for you. Hey, I heard your song. It's not bad. The key of A is kind of crap. <laughs> you pulled it off. Are you out of your mind? He's clearly the best. Yeah, he's good, but he's a jerk. He's like arrogant. We're not dating him. I don't need him, Haley. I've got you. Think about it. You can do this. Just have him do it, bro. She doesn't want to do so it. So I thought you said we were going to watch the meteor shower from your yard. Um, actually, this is my yard. <laughs> You're kidding. You're not kidding. I bought it a year ago. It's, it's real estate, right? It's good business. My house is about half a mile up that way. It's very beautiful. Nice. Who maintains all yeah, that? It's a little of the South Island in North Carolina, you know? So how does a New Zealander end up here anyway? Let's see. Uh, my dad died when I was 14. And uh, my mom figured we'd better move to the States before I turn into a rugby bum like him. Did you know there's a one tree hill in Auckland? It's a volcano. Or it was 20,000 years ago, and uh, now it's a park. We used to picnic in it sometimes, so when Mum saw this tree hill on a map... Did he say there's a one tree hill? But so isn't the name you all by tree hill? In a foreign country. Oh, she must be quite a woman. Yep, she is. I would have loved to have seen her do something like go back to school after that died, you know? So she could get to live her own life rather than always having to uh, sacrifice so I can what live What a life. cool property. Table for two. Settling for my next trick. Miriam. 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 Can't believe they sold my dresser. Got anything to drink? Water if the plumbing's still up. Yeah. You sure you're okay with this whole friends with benefits thing? Why wouldn't I be? You know, it's just most girls I know unable to hook up without the emotional entanglements. Try having your boyfriend always hook up with your best friend and see if that's just not the tangled girls, enough for buddy. you. Lucas and Peyton? God, why am I even telling you this? I thought I made it clear we don't talk. Oh my God. Did I mention that it's friends with benefits? Don't kid yourself. Your only advantage is that you live 30 seconds away. No friends. Not for me, just benefits. Close the door on your way out. So now, uh, Nathan and I are cool. Y'all just been hanging out and there all day? And Haley your sister-in-law? Weird, but yeah. I thought I had a complicated relationship with my brother. Yeah, what is Felix's deal anyway? He's not as bad as he seems. So why didn't you tell Felix about me? It just never came up. I like you. And I think if we hang out, I'm just gonna like you more. <laughs> that fucking chuckle. But I don't want to sneak around. You gotta talk to Felix. You know, I never thought I'd have my brother Dan thank for a night like this. It must be pretty different going from fixing cars to selling them. Truth is, I always had it my plan. I had the idea to open a dealership long before Danny ever came around to it. I just didn't have the capital. And then when I saved enough, Dan decided to open his own place with his wife's money. He stole your idea? Well, you know, he had a family by then. 
I hoped you would do right by his other son, Lucas. God. So I told him everything I knew about cars. Well, that was pretty selfless of you. I'd have never done it if I knew what an ass he was going to become. Being a good guy has its own rewards. Hmm. Oh, get some. That's funny. How's the auditions? She liked it, didn't she? Yeah, but I'm mad. Hales, <laughs> you wouldn't hear from me. Besides, I'm supposed to believe in you when you don't believe in yourself. Oh, that's cute. What you've always done for me. They're cute. Nathan is adorable lately. So then you'll play? Could not stand him for most of season okay, one. I will. Okay, maybe I will. Um, you know, when you get back from camp this fall? Yeah, about the camp. You're going. I didn't get in. What do you mean? They said it was a sure thing. Yeah, I know, but it turns out they made a mistake. He's and, lying. And uh, there's some other kid they have to give the spot to. Lying. He's lying. Me too. He's lying. But hey, since I can't go to this camp, that means you start playing your music now. Tell me that you will. Okay, I'll try. Oh, did you see it? No. Oh, blink and you miss it. How romantical. Oh, okay, okay. Get some. Through my smoke down on the ground. Oh, Boy, y'all about to move into an apartment? God, now when I think of Jeez. The meteors always streak from north to south. So many stars. Right near Perseus. Where's that? Next to Andromeda. He's protecting his wife right there. You see the figure of a woman? Oh, yeah. yeah I see it now. She's chained at the wrist, just like in the story. Hmm. Um, it's late. We should get back home. We've had a lot to drink. Maybe we should spend the night here. I don't have my things. I threw overnight bags in the car, just in case. I'll take the guest room. So, what time do you want to sneak around tomorrow night? I'm going to talk to him, okay? I promise. You understand where I'm coming from, though, right? I got to stop talking about wanting to be a different guy and start being that guy. Yeah. I do understand. I know you think you have to work at it, but you're already a good guy, Luke. You don't know him at that well. Uh-oh. Y'all didn't notice his ass sitting there? Get anything at the mall? Not really. That's a first. I went out with a friend. You kiss all your friends? Oh. You've been spying on me? So you like Lucas? I don't know, Felix. It was just a first date. Half of the kids in this town were conceived on the first date. Like, I don't know Shade. how much you know about it, but he's done some things. That's no secret. He told me that he screwed some things up. Peyton, while he was dating Brooke, look, he'll do the same thing to you, Anna. He might have made a mistake, but he's not a bad guy. And I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. Protective big brother, that's... That's how guys like that get away with this stuff. It's the name of the game Girls sometimes. Like you, giving them the benefit of the doubt. Oh! Ugh. You Where... just took ten years off my life. Where have you been, young lady? I have been worried sick. Where have you been? I I'm sorry, you know, I, I just... After midnight, you call. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope I don't sound like that. How long have you been home? Uh, about five minutes. Well, then we're both grounded. Clearly a rookie mom. Next time, try sneaking in the window. So you have a good time? They're cute. Yeah, I did. Good. Hey, I'm making pancakes. Oh, I'm sorry, Dan. I'm going home. What's the hurry? We'll go back in a few hours. Oh, no, we won't. Coming out here was a mistake. I can't keep pretending that things are normal. You're better now. I'll send your things over. Oh. It's the doctor. Dan Scott. Yeah, I just received your test results back from the lab. You're doing really well. I see. So uh, call my office to set up an appointment. Thank you, doctor. I will. He's gonna lie. Thank you. He's gonna fucking lie. It's not good. I'm gonna have to stay with you for a while. Come in. Hey, man. Hey. Wanna help me with this table? I'm rearranging so Haley has to Such a practice. bitch. What do you want? It? Right there. So Haley told me you didn't get into high flyers after all. Tough break. Yeah, it's too bad. Lies. You did get in. Yep. Nathan, man, you've been working for your whole life for this. You can't say no. You know what it's like to hit a game-winning shot. The whole crowd loves you. Everybody treats you like you're a star. I get to feel that every time I play. Now, it's Haley's turn. I mean, she's an incredible musician. She's ready to give it a shot. So if I go to camp now for three months, who knows where her head's going to be? I mean, it is she's sweet. Really feel like it is sweet of The about thrill of the crowd. She deserves it. And what about your future? Be honest. I already know my future. It's with Haley. Welcome to Trick. Trick. Nice I space. Here you're looking for bands. I suppose we're working together after all. I guess we'll be partying together too. Uh, don't do it. Don't do it. Hot. No. I, um, I knew this meant a lot to you. So I got the address off the woman's check. I bought it back. 
Oh my god. Thank you. Is that like a dollhouse Built version of flight. their actual house, though? Uh, son, turn me down. What? You're saying he's not going to the camp? You told me you could make this happen. He doesn't want to be away from his wife. Dan is back to his old so conniving, manipulative ways. That's cool. So did I. Mine's younger than me. I mean, a lot younger. Okay. Well, if he's younger than me, I'm not calling him dad. <laughs> this came for you. What is it? What's the letter? What's the letter for Lucas? She wouldn't say that if it wasn't something important. Oh, good. Good, good, good. Get the surgery. Oh, That's sweet. Whitey better be okay. Don't let something happen to that man. Pretty. Y'all better not let something happen to Whitey, because I will not be happy. Okay, so that episode was awesome. I love this show. A, Dan's a fucker. B, Felix being a protective big brother. I get it. That makes sense. It is what it is. We'll see how far he takes that. Where's their parents, by the way? Do they have any? C, I love Lucas and Karen's relationship so much. I think they are so cute. They definitely seem like they have a healthy relationship. I'm interested to see how Lucas is going to react when he sees meets Andy. I think they're gearing up for that. D, Nathan, not going to the basketball camp. I mean, we could say, oh, that's kind of shitty. Like you should go, but I think it's adorable that he's putting his stuff on hold for Haley because he obviously believes in her. And I think that that music thing, that arc is going to be something. Obviously they're kind of like really pushing that, I think. So we're going to see what that, where it goes with that. I think that that guy, the record store guy, he looked and sounded really familiar to me. I feel like I've seen him in a movie or something. I don't know though. I love it. And Trick, the name for the club. I dig it. I dig it. I just love this show, man. So watchable. So easy. I feel like the episodes go by so fast. I just can't get enough. Let me know what y'all thought about this one. I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye.